Maltese is easy. I sincerely hope that last episode didn't kill your will to learn Maltese. But you're here, so it didn't. Last week, I mentioned the existence of the masculine and the feminine form in Maltese, and this is what I want to focus on this time. Every noun in Maltese is either feminine or masculine. However, there are certain nouns which have both feminine and masculine form. An example of a noun that has masculine and feminine form is attus or attusa, depending on the gender of the cat. But it's not just living objects. For example, bib or biba. In this case, you can adjust the gender of the noun to the noun that it stands next to. For example, bib, biba tal carozza. Recognizing whether a noun is feminine or masculine is usually quite easy. In general, if it has an a at the end, it's feminine. For example, cascia, sodda. However, for nouns with Italian roots, an I at the end also signifies, in most cases, that the noun is feminine. For example, destinazioni. Of course, there are exceptions. Sema is masculine. Shemsh is feminine. Dar is feminine. For more examples of exceptions, look down. All these adjectives have different versions for different genders and for plural, which means you have to adjust the gender to the noun that the adjective is describing. For example, sabih, sabiha, sbih, gustuz, gustuza, gustuzi. But there are adjectives with just one form, usually of Italian origin, for example, popolari. Unfortunately, it's yet another one of those things that you have to memorize. Last week, I also mentioned that the masculine and the feminine form are actually used for singular and plural. Luckily, this mostly applies to fruit, vegetables, some animals, generally things that you can count as a group or you can count individually. And it's not so complicated. In such cases, the feminine form is for singular, the masculine form is for collective and the plural form is for plural countable. Unfortunately, just like in the case of plurals, you're gonna have to memorize those forms because they don't always follow the same rules. Sorry. And remember, if you don't know whether a certain word is feminine or masculine, you always have Jabra to check. It's a very good resource.